We have just spent 84 million in the January transfer window. We're in a semi final of the Italian Cup and we also play AC Milan. Stay tuned! Welcome back, guys, to part 14 of Building a Legacy with Atlanta. In today's episode, we're going to go up against Milan in the league. And then we're going to take on Juventus in the Italian Cup semi-final second leg. So we might be making our way to a final today. We'll have to wait and see. So since the last time you were with us, we've had some transfer business done. So let's take a look at what's been happening. So if we make sure they're sorted in the most recent order, which they are, we will do the transfers out first of all. So a lot of these transfers out are just players that were not in the starting team anyway. Mainly young players, mainly left up to my director of football to get rid of. One player that stands out as a player that we've released is Gomez. He has gone to FC Porto. He kept saying he wanted to go. He is starting to decline on his physicals now. His technicals are very good and his mentals are also still very good apart from his positioning. But he wasn't going to be getting into my team. We don't play anyone in this number 10 role as such. So he didn't really fit the team setup that I've put into this side. The second player that's a big player to let go was Niang. Now we've let him go to Brighton. We didn't really have any offers for him. It was a player that I decided I was going to let go. It's He weren't making any appearances for me. He was only playing backup, and at 28, I'm trying to get some of the old guard out and bring in some youngsters and wait until you see who I've replaced them with. So we managed to recoup 13.25 million for him. So who are we brought in? Well, we've brought in four players, and they are all listed down here. So first player to be brought in was from Stoke. That is Verlinden. Now, Verlinden is a right winger that can play as an inverted winger on attack. He can also play on the support role. We're probably going to be playing him on the support role. And if you have a look through his attributes for that support role, very good player indeed. Got that 16 agility up there. Decisions could be a little bit better, but 23, he can improve. And obviously a nice young Belgium to bring in. Next player that came in is probably our biggest signing of the January transfer window we needed a star striker to go up front my scouts came back with this guy Sebastiano Esportito coming in from Inter Milan many of you probably know him from previous saves you probably know him from previous FMs but this lad has come in 20 years old his attributes for a complete forward which is what we're playing him in are just out of this world already for, what, a 20-year-old. We've got 16 on agility there. His pace is 15. His strength is 13. Jumping reach of 15. Heading of 13. He's six foot one. He's just going to get better as he matures. And I can see him being at this Atlanta side for a long time. And at five-star potential, I really hope I can get him to meet that. We then signed this young lad, Kamara, coming in from Marseille. It was not a signing that I intended on going out and making, but it was one the director of football decided to make for us. And I had a look at him, where I'd be playing him, and then I sort of just decided, yeah, he wouldn't make a bad backup at all. So we've brought him in. Two things that we really are a little bit wary about by playing him in this uh, Volante role. His finishing and his long shots. So lightness is, to be honest, it's going to be a case of if we're going to be attacking the team, we probably won't be playing this lad. But if we want to defend a lead, he'd be a good lad to bring on. And the final player that I have brought in this January transfer window was Jordi Escobar. Now, Jordi Escobar is coming from Almera over in Spain. I needed someone who could play on that left-hand side as an inside forward. And we'll just bring up them attributes. Now, he came in as we were letting Niang go. 
He is very physical already. His physicals are very good at acceleration, agility, pace, all well up there already at such a young age. His technicals are very good for a young age, although his long shots could be better in that position. Mentals, I'm hoping he can grow a little bit with his mentals, but his determination says he probably will. He's a four and a half star potential player. First game he played, he come on after 75 minutes and grabbed an equalising goal that spared our blushes against Juventus. So very happy with him and the signings we've made. So on to today's game, just before we go into it, I have reached 100 games in management once we play today's game and it is going to be a game against AC Milan, so a derby game, hopefully we can go out and win. Well you probably want to know how we're getting on since you were last with us, we've been pretty good in the league, we're still unbeaten in the league, we've dropped points to Roma and Genoa, but everyone else we've picked up top points against probably the standout game was the game against Udinese where we won 4-0 we absolutely ran riot in that game it's fantastic and we've just gone climbing up the table because of it as far as the Italian Cup goes we beat Inter on penalties in the first round we then beat Milan on 2-0 absolutely flying we were in that before we played Juventus in the semi-final first leg and later on you'll get to see the second leg of that so where's that leave us in the league so we are 11th after 19 games we've got a game in hand against the teams above us so we could climb as far as 8th and knock Roma out of that we are already on course for that top half finish which we promised the board when we came in we might even be able to start looking at a potential top six finish because from here we're only, what, seven points off of top six and we've got a game in hand on them. So we could drop that to four points that quickly. Then it doesn't look inconceivable. So today we will go up against Milan and that is next. Right, so let's get started at the San Siro. We'll go and have a look at the team we're going to choose to do. So the team we're going to go with today will be Magnan in goal, Risha, Palomino, Romero and Bellanova across the back line. Presina and Kamara with Malinowski in midfield. And then up front we've got Felipe Anderson, we've got Under and Esportito leading the line. So we've got a pretty much full strength side. We've got Escobar on the bench that we can bring on later on. Pasadic, who would usually be starting in the centre and midfield. He's just not been performing quite up there at the moment. So we're just going to drop him for today. Remo's going to have a rest. He's not quite got full condition, especially with the Juve second leg coming up in the next game. But other than that, everything seems okay. A couple of injuries prevent us putting on a full bench. We're one player short on the bench. We'll just show you these injuries. So we've got an injury to Matthias Moreira. He's out for about three months. And Zortair, who would usually be playing at right back. I'm not sure how long he's out for, actually. Another two weeks, so you won't see him today. Let's jump in and get started. It'd be interesting, because they're going to want blood after we beat them at the San Siro in the Italian Cup. So we're just going to have to make sure we get the job done. Let's keep the run going. If we're looking a bit motivated and composed, we're going to send the assistant to do the interview. Right, so anyone in there that stands out? No one that I really worry about looking at that team. Atalanta's team, we already have gone over. I'm looking for a lot from Esportito today and under. Both of them are going to need to really step up. We've got a chance of closing the gap on Milan today. Let's see if we can make the most of our chance. I mean, we've had some good wins since we've been playing. We've got Under to take the corner into the near post. It's headed away. And who's going to get to that first? It's going to be the uh, AC Milan player. And AC Milan are making a run down this left-hand side. Are we going to make a challenge or is he going to go all the way in? 
He tries to cross, but it's blocked off by Kamara. He's gone forward with the ball now. And we start bringing it out. Pressenia looked to play it across, but it's been intercepted. And now AC Milan coming forward again with the overlap. This isn't going to be good if we end up conceding from our own corner. And we have Rebic has put it in the back of the net. Nice cross there. We should have been picking him up better than that. Five minutes in, we're a goal down. Not the greatest of starts here at the San Siro. The league's probably more important than the cup to us. Oh dear. Let's hope it's just a one-off and not a sign of things to come in this game. Malinowski with the free kick into Flea Anderson. Flea Anderson back to Malinowski. Malinowski across the box and it's gone over the bar. Bit of a poor camera angle that from the old director. Free kick. Romero to take the free kick and he's just passed it forward to Presenia. Presenia sends it out wide but it's intercepted. And it's going to be picked up there. We've come forward with the ball. So Rika down to Flea Anderson, back to Rika. And now where's he going to go with it? Prasine across. Nice ball through. And here's Philippe Anderson. Philippe Anderson gets us back level. 1-1 after 15 minutes. Third goal of the season for him. The wingers are really starting to get into their groove for this formation now. Esportito causing problems in the middle. And that's the thing about having Esportito in the middle. His runs cause the defenders on the opposition's team to sort of leave our wingers alone. Our wingers have certainly got better since Esportito has come into the team. I'm going to drop a bit of encouragement on the side. And this first half hour has shown that we've definitely been in the ascendancy. Six shots to their two. We're ahead in the XG. Just need to... Probably make the most of it while we've got that advantage. Might just give Esportito a bit of a kick up the bum. Fire him up a little bit. He's only at a 6.5 at the moment. And now AC Milan moving the ball about. They've gone out wide but it's been intercepted by Risha. Plays it back to the defender there. And now we're knocking it about nicely, creating our little triangles. We really are getting good at passing these in these triangles now. And now Malinowski comes forward, across to Under, through to Esportito. Yes! The former Inter Milan guy has put it in against the AC Milan side. Oh, he's going to feel so good about that. The Inter Milan protégé has... Pull it to Milan and we take a lead into half time surely. And that will move us up to 8th in the league. I've just seen that pop up as well. Half time. We've come from a goal down. We're 2-1 up. The XG has said that we deserve to be in the lead of this as well. Jump into this dressing room. We're going to go point the finger. Pleased with how it is, keep it going. And that's made everyone inspired and motivated to go out in this second half and carry on getting this job done. Big throw in here from Risha into the box. It's cleared away by the Milan centre back. It's only as far as our right back here, Romero, sends it down the right. Here's Under. Under plays it backwards and it's gone back to Under again. Kamara. Kamara across to Presinia, through to Under. Can he make it three? Oh, great save from the AC Milan keeper there. Oh, you've got to feel that that could have been put in the game beyond AC Milan had that had gone in. We're really doing well at the moment, and our players look really happy with how it's going. Don't even need to drop any praise or anything at the moment. Corner kick for AC Milan into the box. It's headed clear by Romero. And now, who's chasing that down? Is that Under? He's trying to stop his man getting past him. AC Milan have pulled it back. Nice big ball through. Keeper comes and misses it. But we've cleared it away. Oh, Keeper, if he comes, he needs to be getting to that. 
AC Milan, well, I was going to say it looked like they might still have an attack on, but that has finished at that. Dodgy times there from the keeper. I've not seen him make many mistakes since he's been coming. Since I've been here, he seems to have been pretty solid. Just going to drop a bit of praise on these players. We've got a corner under. Swings it in. We've put it in the back of the net. Christian Romero has given us a 3-1 lead against AC Milan. And that, that is definitely going to help us close the gap on them. Remember, a win here today puts us within four points of Milan and a game in hand on them. We might have to look at making a couple of changes, I think. 70 minutes in, we'll jump onto the bench and see what changes we can make. We're going to get Panada on for Pressina. And we are also going to make a change. Under is going to come off. And we will bring on Verlinden. So you're going to get a chance to see Verlinden in action today. Let's get that confirmed. And hopefully we can continue this little run we're on. Still unbeaten, remember, since taking over at Atalanta. Absolutely flying in this game. The XG says we're all over them. Going to make one final change from the bench. And that would be Malinowski off. And we'll get Pasalik on just for these final couple of minutes. And we're going to drop a quick shout to say we're going to praise. Make these players nice and happy as they see out this game. We beat them 2-0 in the cup. We're going to beat them 3-1 in the league. It wasn't a game I was expecting to come in and win at this sort of in this sort of fashion but we have done everything right today fell behind and we've come back strong outstretched arms really pleased with the result and your performance all we can hope is that we go on to do the same against Juventus in the cup now just be positive in there right so at the end of that, we are now up to 8th in the league. 28 points from 20 games. Remember, we took over in 17th, so we've climbed this league table nicely at the moment. Within 4 points of 6th place now, we are a game in hand as well on that. I think we can potentially fight for a European place. We're just over halfway through the season now. We've got another half of a season to go. And we have made an unbeaten start. So the headline goes with Ruggeri suffers defeat against former club. We've, yeah, look at that. 13 to 10 shots, 50-50 in possession. But we have smashed it where we needed to. 3-1 the result. We'll be back for the Juventus game in just a second. Right, so we're back for the Juventus game now. We've made just one change from the game against AC Milan. The change sees... Remo come back into the side. Now he's back up to full fitness, which means Kamara drops to the bench. So we go with Magnan in goal, Risha, Palomino, Romero and Bananova across the back line. Presina, Remo and Malinowski in the midfield. Felipe Anderson under playing behind Espaldito up front. Now I do think we're going to see Escobar today. He is. He made a superb impression on me just from the first appearance he had. He did score against Juventus last time. Only reason Anderson has got the nod ahead of him is because of his performance against AC Milan. So I do think at some point we will be seeing Escobar. Let's jump into the game and get started. We've got a big opportunity today to go and get this job done. If we can beat Juventus, we make it to the final and it'll be our first cup final with any team since I took over as a manager. Juventus has got Silva up front, Hakan ZX in there, Rabbit, Neves in the midfield. Players that we're going to have to watch out for. You can see up the top here, 1-1 on aggregate. Going to have to keep an eye on that. We have got an away goals. Not too sure about Italian Cup, whether the away goals makes a big difference to it or not. Something we might end up finding out at the end. 
this early start to the game and nothing's really happening. It's pretty dead, should you say, nil-nil. We'd be happy to take a nil-nil. If it stayed like this all the way to the end, it might be a boring episode, but it'll see us into a cup final. We're not meant to be competing with a team like Juventus at this point in our career. We are still a lower level team that has still got a big building job ahead of us to get up to that sort of level. First highlight, Balanova. He's gone with a big ball into the box and Chesney comes and collects that without a problem. Not even challenged by anyone there. Chesney with a big kick up field. And Risha's brought it down well. And here's Philippe Anderson. Goes past his man. Ghosting inside. Esportito through to Philippe Anderson. Anderson! Philippe Anderson gets the shot off. Well, we chose to play him ahead of... Whoever it was. <laughs> I can't remember who we were playing him ahead of now. It's gone out of my head. Escobar. We chose to play him ahead of Escobar. And he has shown why we decided to play him. We're 1-0 up on the night. 2-1 on aggregate. We are going to drop a bit of praise on the players for that. We do look like we're in control of this game at the moment. Juventus now with Astrid Equator at the side. They've got Alexandra on the opposite side. Ball comes out. Rabbit is going to take it upfield. Big ball forward. And he's found the man he was looking for, Andre Silva, coming forward now. He's gone across, and now Juventus are trying to push us. Big ball out wide there. Astrid Equator into the box. And it, the shot has bounced off of one of our defenders. It's come back to Astrid Equator here. Again into the box. The shot off from the opposite side from Alexandro. And it's just gone out. It's a great save there from the goalkeeper. Corner into the box bomb Ziek. And it's gone straight out of play there. And we'll be able to re-evaluate and get ready for half time. So the first half is over. We've done really well. Just towards the end, Juventus started to find their feet and get back into it. They still find themselves a goal down, but they have took the lead on XG. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on them. Just going to say there's still room for improvement. Follow the instructions of my touchline coach. And let's get out for the second half. I think the main thing we want to do now is keep an eye on how fit our players are. Condition and make sure everyone remains fully fit for this. Swap the shot map back over to Atalanta. There we go see where we're creating chances from now I think I'm gonna to have to demand a little bit more from this they seem to have gone a little bit stale it's cheered a lot of them up we've got one angry face from Rika not sure I'm still not sure how to pronounce his name Rika or Risha Prasina is looking a little bit worse for wear now might need to bring him off Let's have a look at the bench now. We're about 20 minutes from the end. Who can we bring on? Let's get Panada on for Prasina. And... Oh, I don't want to bring Philippe Anderson off. He's having a good game. I think that might be it. Romero's not having the best of games. Okay, let's bring Romero off for Kamara as well. What that does mean, though, is we're completely changing the midfield. If they don't work well together, that could end up costing us as the game wears on. The other way to look at it, we're putting fresh legs bang in the middle of the midfield. Rika throws it down. Flea Panderson's now got it. Praise it back. And Panada across. And it's gone all the way across. Nice ball through to Under there. And it's gone back to Chesney in a big kick up field. We've picked it up at the back with Romero. Romero again collects the ball. Ball played through there. Kamara. Where's Kamara going to go with it? He's gone for a big ball out wide. Where Flea Panderson should pick that up. 
and he has done well there into the box is headed away again and now Juventus might collect that nope we've coming forward again Kamara pa Panandar's lost the ball there and that was a terrible place to lose the ball he needs to be making the challenge here no not like that not like that he's brought him down Ah, oh, suddenly needs to be making a challenge, but not like VAR checking for a penalty. Pretty sure that's going to be a penalty. Yeah. Right. Magnan, step up and show them why teams have been after you all through that transfer window. Yes! Yes! Ten minutes to go, and we've saved a penalty that could have got Juve back into it. I think what we need to do is just tell the players to focus now. Ball into the box from the corner and it's cleared away. Well, we've got a free kick out of it. Handball there. Oh, I can't believe we saved that. Fleep Anderson seems dead on his feet now. We are going to get a chance to see Escobar come on. That'd be all three changes made. He scored last time he came on against Juventus. Throw in taking. Malinowski pulls it back. Romero plays across the back line. And through to Rishia. Escobar's going forward here. Rishia's going down the left. And still Rishia into the box. It's come back out and now it's headed away. Juventus might have a counter attack on here. Ziek, he's got a man over on his right and he's found him. Ball through to the middle, Andre Silva. Another save there from Magnan. He has been magnificent today. Oh, now they've got a corner. Ziek with a corner into the box. It's headed away. Big header there to get that clear. And Zia could keep it in play. And Juventus will come again. We need to just get this clear. We're so close to seeing this through now. Encourage the team. Come on. You can see this through. Three minutes down to go. And it's over. We have successfully made it into the final of the Italian Cup against all the odds. I came here just a month ago. No one had seen this come in. Fantastic. 1-0 we beat Juventus. And we're going to make it into the final. Not many people predicted the Italian Cup final. Just going to say I'm chuffed. And then we will... Performance says that we deserve it. Atalanta win in Italian Cup semi-final, a 2-1 aggregate win over Juventus. That is awesome. Right, guys, we'll look to wrap it up there. Before we go, we need to have a look at when we're going to come back next. Just having a quick flick through here. I think I might well play it through, and the next time we'll come back will be for the Italian Cup final. So we'll play the Italian Cup final in either Roma or Inter Milan, whichever game seems the bigger at the time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed that, please leave us a great big thumbs up. If you haven't already, bash that subscribe button. And for now, I'll see you again soon.